Hey lovelies, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If this is your first time here, welcome to JLux Budgets. Maybe this is where our story starts. Maybe you was written in the stars. Written in the stars. You told me So today, y'all, I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for July Paycheck 2, y'all. This pay period has been going amazing, but before we get into that, I have a few announcements, and one of these I know y'all will be super excited about because y'all have been waiting for these to come back in stock. So first off, pre-orders open this morning for the Jade Cash Wallet, you guys. So y'all remember this gorgeous beauty here. This leather has been out of stock for almost a year, you guys. I sold out of these in, I think, October or November of last year, and I have been waiting for this particular color and quality to come back in stock. This is so hard to come by, so I do have very, very limited quantities coming back in this. But this is my A7 binder. So yeah, y'all, I'm so excited for these to come back. I know y'all have been waiting. I'm so sorry it's been so long. But yes, these will be coming back. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the alabaster as well because those also have been sold out. I've gotten a lot of requests for those. But yes, Jade Wallet pre-orders are live right now on the site. Go ahead and snag your spot because I'm telling y'all, I have very, very few that are coming in and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this color back in stock. I have been looking for a similar um, quality. Like this leather, y'all, is, is... Let me just compare, you guys. So I've been trying out different manufacturers I'm just giving y'all a little bit of behind the scenes. I like to keep it real with y'all. Do y'all see this? Like I have been using this for over a year. Yes, off and on, but wear and tear. I've only been using this one for two months and look at this. The leather is just coming apart even on the inside. So that's why I decided not to add these to the shop. I'm trying to find another manufacturer um, that has better quality because I just like to put out quality items for y'all. So anywho, that was a long spiel. Pre-orders are open for A7 Jade Wallet, so head over to the website. And then also, all of my place card holders will be back in stock as well at the end of this month. I've been working on getting some of those back. They've been sold out for, I want to say, like four months, and I just have not had time to make them. So, trying to get back in the swing of things, y'all. So, yeah, those are the first two announcements for the shop. Let's get into the check-in. <laughs> So we made it through the first week of Paycheck 2 and it has gone phenomenal, you guys. I cannot wait to see what I'm going to have left over at the end of this month. But I want to go ahead and check in on my wallet first just because I have been doing some unnecessary spending. I know, y'all. My motto for this month was stick to the plan. For the most part, I have been sticking to the plan. But I did make some astray purchases, which I will definitely share with you guys once they come in. But let's check in on the wallet first. So, first off... I budgeted $75. No, I did not. What am I doing? I'm lying. Hold on. Let me write in my numbers, y'all, first. All right, so I've got my numbers down from what I budgeted, and here's what I budgeted in case you guys think I'm cheating. Anywho, so this was $425 just for my cash envelopes. For dining, I did budget $100 for this pay period because I knew I was going out of town and we were going out to eat, so I have one, two, three four five six seven eight nine dollars left y'all how in the world <laughs> so yeah needless to say we will be doing a lot of eating at home and cooking for the remainder of this pay period what's today today is the 20th when i am filming this and we still got 11 more days to get through with nine dollars of eating out like that's not gonna happen but We'll make it do what it needs to do. Okay, sorry, y'all. I had to get my dollars facing the same way because y'all know I'm super anal. So I have $9 left. Whoops. I do this every time, y'all. We're in dining. $9 left, which means I spent $91 eating out, y'all. That's ridiculous. Anywho, next up for gas, I budgeted $70. I have a 10 left in here and technically... I'll have another 10 um, just because I actually paid for all the gas for our trip to Charlotte and my friend is going to reimburse me her half. So I'll get $10 back 
from that. So let me go ahead and write in 20, which means that I spent 50. So I'll get hers on Monday. Next up is home. Home, I budgeted $20. I have a $10 bill left in here. I did have to get some dishwasher pods. So that's where that went. Next up is beauty, y'all. Beauty, I budgeted $20. I completely budgeted, I mean, blew through all of that. And then some, y'all. So I ended up doing my hair. My hair was like $55 or $60. And then I went and got my toes done. So yeah, needless to say, $20 did not cover all of that. So I ended up pulling from that as well as my fun envelope to cover some of that as well as miscellaneous. And I sold some stuff. So yeah, y'all still trying to keep it in the budget. Next up is pets. Pets, I budgeted $75 originally. I have a 10, a 5, and a 1. So that's 16. And then, oh, my air just cut off. Thank you. Um, a 5 and two ones. So what is that? That is 20. Yeah, 23. Okay. Got to get the money organized. Okay, so pets, I have 23 remaining, which means that I spent, I have no clue, 75 minus 23 is 52. Not too bad. I did switch them to a different litter just because Tractor Supply doesn't carry the litter that I've been using for them. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and then also, okay, I need to correct that. I did return something. And they gave me my money back. So that was $7.78 that went back into this. So I actually spent more, but neither here nor there. It's going to roll over. So anywho, just to be honest with y'all. Next up is personal. Personal, I budgeted $20. Some of this went to my beauty. So that's where that went. Fun, I budgeted $30. That has completely been spent. Went to beauty. And then next up is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, I budgeted $10. I spent the $10. Nothing remaining. That went to beauty. And then groceries, y'all. I am so proud of myself. So I went grocery shopping last night and I budgeted $80. I got $2 remaining, y'all. Like when I got to the register and I was down to like the last five items in my cart, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to put some of this stuff back because I only brought $80 with me and I don't have anything left in miscellaneous to cover the difference. And when I rang up that last item and it said, $78.10. When I tell y'all I almost did a praise dance in there because I made it under budget and I got everything that I needed, I was so excited. So yeah, just little victories make me excited. <laughs> I know y'all probably like, what in the world? But I was excited about that, y'all. So, all right. So I have 20 plus 9 plus 2 plus 10 plus 23 remaining. So I have $64 left in cash for spending, which means that I spent, ooh, y'all, I started out with 425. I only have 64 remaining, means I spent $361 so far. Still all within the budget, y'all, so I feel good about that. Let me take out my receipts and go ahead and scan those while it's on my mind. Alrighty, and again, if you guys are not familiar with what Fetch is, I leave it in my description box every video. It's an app where you just basically scan in your receipts for stuff that you're already spending money on. You just turn them into gift cards to use. So definitely stay up on that faithfully. Alrighty, so that is what my wallet is looking like. So I feel good about that. Let's check in on the budget because yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this y'all. So, so far my paycheck I budgeted 1600 My paycheck came in $1,792.57. So that was awesome. I did mention to you guys in my budget video that I did work a day of time and a half. So that's where that's coming from. Um, also, I did finally do hair and she paid me $75. I budgeted $65. So that came in a little bit higher, which is awesome. Had already got paid for my boyfriend $320, which I showed you guys. YouTube, I budgeted $1,700. I get paid from YouTube on... Monday, I believe, because tomorrow is the 21st. Um, anytime it falls on a weekend, we don't get it till the next business day. So I'll get that on Monday and fill that in. Um, and then also my boyfriend paid me $200 
on the 18th. So he is a little bit short, which is okay, y'all. Things come up. That's why I don't like to work in his income. I try to cover everything on my own before budgeting his, but his will come into play. Mortgage has been paid as normal, 750 capital one. Um, my balance transfer, y'all, finally went through. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but my balance transfer went through early. I think I mentioned to you guys it wasn't supposed to like be finished until the 21st because I said it takes 15 days to process, which I just thought was ridiculous. I knew there was no way it's going to take that long. So yeah, Capital One was paid off in full on the 15th. Actually, no, Capital One was paid off on the 12th. So I actually did not have to make my minimum payment of $25, which y'all, I thought about still taking this $25 and paying it towards City, but I'm just going to hold off and see how everything pans out. I'm going to try and knock out my snowball in the order it's supposed to be paid off. So we'll see how that goes at the end of the pay period. Um, my car insurance, y'all, I did call. I think I mentioned to you guys that I had a accident fall off in June. So I called just to see if I could get a lower rate and y'all... I saved a hundred bucks by calling. So y'all definitely shop your home insurance and your car insurance rates. Um, so I was paying 340. That's what I budgeted. I did make the first payment is 245 now. So it's 244.49. So I'm excited about that. Saving a hundred bucks that can go towards debt. Um, Bank of America, I paid on time $35, my minimum. My snowball for Wayfair and City, I'm actually holding to make that payment all at one time. So I'm trying to see after today's video how much extra I have to just go ahead and throw on debt. So I'll do that all at one time. Upstart was paid from my business account. My phone bill was paid on the 17th, 65.21. So it came in a little bit less than what I budgeted. Um, Capital One, I didn't have to make that minimum payment of 125. So that's extra money in the budget. Car payment still has not been paid yet. I will pay that after YouTube hits and then I'll do my snowballs, Duke and Affirm. So what I have unbudgeted so far and spent on was Ikea was one of my balance transfers. That credit card was paid off on the 15th because I actually had to call and make an additional interest payment. So I did owe $24.10 after the balance transfer payment hit. So I went ahead and pay that. Ikea is out of here. Zero balance. No more 21.99% interest. So I'm excited about that. Um, and also I decided to cut off my Max and Prime and switch back to Netflix because there's a couple things that I really wanted to watch on that. So restarted my Netflix on the 16th. Hopefully I can fly through that for this month and then cut it back off. So yeah, that's what the budget is looking like. Needless to say, after all of this so far as my bank account stands today when I'm filming this, I have $249.35 in there. So I will be transferring $9.35 to my savings account, which let me update y'all on that as well while we're on that topic. Where's my tracker? All righty. So right now where we stand is $845 towards my e-fund. So I'm excited about that. For my zero out, we are transferring 935, which let me go ahead and add that in. 845 plus 945, wait. 845 plus 935 will put me at 854.35. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in with y'all because that's happening literally right after this video. <laughs> uh, what do I want to use today? Let's use red. I don't know why, but I feel like using red. All right, so 8.54. And y'all, I didn't realize this. I have been using this tracker for the past six years. I just keep reprinting them every year, and I never have realized in all the years I've been using this that this is wrong. So it goes from 8.40 to 8.60. So it skips 850 and then every other one is $10 increments. So I never realized that, but we're going to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and shade just half of this to represent I'm at 850. And then once we get to 860, I'll finish shading the rest. I know small progress, but y'all, every little bit adds up and it will get me to my goal of 1,000. So I'm at 854. That's cool. All right, let me write that off to the side so I know where I'm at. 
Alrighty, now moving on to the plan. <laughs> so for my extra income that's coming in, I need to plan out where that money is going. So I got paid on 7.18 from my boyfriend. $200, which has not hit my bank account yet. So again, right now I have $249.35 in there. I'm just going to say, I don't have a date for that. I'm just going to say this is from my paycheck. Okay, so $9.35 of that we know is going towards my savings challenge. So this is going to my e-fund, $9.35, which puts me at $8.54.34 is what we said, right? My goal is 1000 So we're almost there, y'all. So let me go ahead and deduct that out. We have two forty nine thirty five dollars plus 200 so working with 449.35 income that I need to plan out where it's going. Um, and also with that, y'all, this hair has not hit either. So let me put that down. I did hair on the, whew, when did she come? She came on Tuesday. What was that? The 16th. So 716 hair was $75. And I, she pays me through Cash App. I do the free two-day transfer. I'm not paying no fee to get it earlier. So <laughs> that's why it hasn't hit yet. So I'm going to add in that 75. I'll have that on today, actually. It should hit. So it hasn't posted yet. I did check that. So we really have 524.35. I'm going to go ahead and duck out the 935. So $515, I need to plan out where that money's going. Now, with that said, y'all, I am trying to knock out TJ Maxx. So as of today, my balance left to pay off TJ Maxx is 101.38. So we're going to go ahead and knock that credit card out. So towards TJ Maxx, I'm going to put 101.38, which will leave me with a zero balance. So I'll go ahead and write the paid date once I do that. So let me deduct that. 101. 38, that's another credit card out of here, y'all. Like, that feels so, so good. So what's my next debt that I need to be working on? Let's pull up the snowball. So we're already halfway through TJ Maxx. I'll go ahead and color this in, follow the roadmap down. The next one I need to pay off is a firm. And my balance on a firm is 498.14, y'all. And I've got 413.62 to plan out where that's going. Ooh, okay, 413.62. Let me pull out my other calculator over here so I'm not confusing myself. So for my e-fund, I want to do $1,000. I have $854.34. So I can put $145.66 into my e-fund. $145.66. Which will put me at a thousand dollars saved up. My goal is a thousand dollars, so that's exciting, y'all. Okay, so 145.66 coming out of that. The rest is gonna go on a firm. You guys, I'm loving this. Like, this is so exciting. And that, that also is not including, I still need to make my additional snowball payments for Wayfair and what's the other one y'all my old city credit card so okay let me not get distracted 267.96 is going to go towards a firm which will leave me with a remaining balance of 498.14 leaves me with 238.18 left to pay that one off and y'all, YouTube still has not hit yet. So I'm hoping that that will come in enough to pay that off as well as make my car payment, all the other bills I need to pay. And then also next week, I'm still going to get another check from my boyfriend. So, Woo! 
we are closer and closer to that freedom. I can smell it. It's in my grasp. I'm so excited about it, you guys. So anywho, that is the weekly check-in. Oh, let me update y'all. So I have done some spending here. Um, my days in purple are the days I have not been spending. Y'all, the last couple days have been a little rough, <laughs> okay? Um, so I'm trying to go the rest of the month in the purple. So as of today, we have another purple day. I'm not going to finish today because this is the morning time when I'm filming this, but yesterday was purple. I did not swipe my debit card for anything that was unplanned. That's awesome. Okay, last but not least, y'all, I am going to go ahead and mention this just because I'm not sure if I'm going to do the unboxing on here or if I'm going to do it on Instagram, but I did place an order on Etsy for a new binder cover, which I'm so excited about, y'all. I know I love my planners, and I like using them because it kind of helps promote my business, plugging myself, but I have really, really, really been wanting a new cover, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and ordered one, and that should be here on Monday, so I will share that with you guys once it comes in, but yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this weekly check-in. I hope your budgeting is going well, as always. Leave me a comment down below, subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.